is Tamar Rothenberg here in Empowering Woman. And today I wanted to talk about boundaries. Yes, boundaries. How difficult it is to put boundaries, personal boundaries, work boundaries with friends, with family, with people that you love, that you care, with people that you don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some tips to set up boundaries with the people that there is around you without, without them hurting you, right? Sometimes when we set up boundaries, it's the people to respect. We love ourselves and respect ourselves. They will love us more and respect us more. So that's why I'm doing this video right now. Because I want that the people love you. I want that you respect yourself. That you have that uh, consideration with you because nobody will. You have to set up boundaries. It's a, the healthy habits that I want you to do. And I want you to say some tips. Thing number one. Start saying no. No, 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 no. Because when you start saying no, you disengage the, the, the compromise that, they, for example, a friend call you in the middle of the day and they, they want to ask for lunch and you have all their, your agenda, your goals that you took time to organize and you have a little bit of break and you, you want to say yes and you want to meet this friend, you want to get for lunch, for a coffee, whatever. But sometimes you need to say no because you won't do the things that you wanted to do in the first place. So you need to learn how to say no. It's very important how to say no and don't feel bad about it. I know many, many people that it's very hard for them to say no. And sometimes you have to say, no, I can right now, but it will be my pleasure to get with you some other day. So let's schedule it now and we can get tomorrow or the day that you can. And you look your agenda and you set it up to don't hurt that friend feelings. Okay, tip number two. Be clear about your expectations or what they expect from you. When somebody expects something from you, you have to be clear and say, no, that's not what I'm here for. I'm going to stay, or let's say, ah, oh, you're going to stay for three hours? No, I'm going to stay one hour and a half. If you're clear with your expectations, so what they expect from you will be different. Number three, be honest with them. Be honest with the people that you're around with. So if you're completely honest and be, be careful, you don't want to hurt anybody's feeling, but you're completely honest and you don't have time to talk. Let's say we can chat or we can talk on another day. So set up your boundaries with your time. Be on time. I know it's hard for some people. Like for me, it's very, very hard to be on time. But if you're, you're not going to be on time and you're not uh, respect your time, they won't respect your time either. So respect your own time and they will respect always your time okay and um, tip number four love yourself more put yourself as priority okay because nobody will put yourself as priority and you have to feel good with yourself so how do you do that how do you put yourself as priority for example um you're going to a to a friend's party and or an event then they invite you and you say yes and it, it depends on you, on what do you like, what do you feel. You feel that you want to there, go there for two hours because then you want to uh, go to sleep early because you, you had a very, very hard day. So you know your limits. You set, you set, you be clear about it. You know, I'm going to go to the event for two hours because then I need to go to sleep, okay? If you say, if you think you cannot go to that event, to that party, whatever, you know your limits. You know how to set up your, how to set your boundaries. Also, the minute you feel bad, about something that you're doing. The minute you feel bad with yourself, you need to be, you need to be, have clear expectations. You cannot judge yourself. Be, take it slowly. Do it one step at a time because it's hard to set boundaries from one day to another. And you know, it's, it's hard for you. At least, at least it was hard for me at the beginning. But once I start seeing the changes that got into my life, I was a much, much happier person. And I was giving this, image that I could do everything, that I say yes to everything, that I was the yes to go person. But you know what? I also have my life and I, and I need to have my, my, my space and my, and my time as well. And I need to love, to love me more. And I realized that and when I realized that I started feeling much, much better, people will love you more, will respect you more, and will look up to you more. So I really give you this advice in the bottom of my heart because these are tips for life, you know? 
You need boundaries in every, each and every area of your life. So I'm here for you if you need to contact me, if you need more tips, if you need help with anything in your life. I'm a life coach and this is Empowering Woman. Thank you so much.